Hey, it's John, uh, Only Play Wizards. Uh, so me and my wife moved recently, and uh, the new place we got is great. But what that also meant was I got to expand my D&D uh, &D playing area. So uh, I got a new table, got a bunch of new area, but this is actually pretty exciting for me because this is the first time I've really had a chance to like really expand it, make it more of my own, and kind of my idea of what I ideally want as an area to play in. So I thought I'd take you around, show you kind of what I have going on, uh, what's in the room, and uh, the new layout. So it's pretty exciting. So let me go start here. Uh, so first off, I got this really killer bookshelf. My buddies gave it to me. Um, this is like the first time I've had an area to play in that had my d, &D books in it. Uh, usually my books are elsewhere or in another room. But there's all my d, &D books, and I have uh, my other collections of like Michael Moorcock and H.P. Lovecraft, and then... Um, Good books about D&D and some good fancy graphic novels. Um, uh, the next part I have is kind of this little area where I keep all the, uh, uh, I guess, pencils, paper, erasers. Um, I also have a charging station for my friends, so if they want to come on over and do that, uh, they can leave their device there to charge. In addition, I have my, um, actually have my, char my speaker charging I use for Sirenscape and for sound effects and everything in music. Uh, I usually hide that. Um, and then my tablet that I run some of that stuff on. I have a nice little new uh, uh, bottle opener, so that's kind of fun. Uh, kitchen's right here, so I have my coffee maker and everything ready to access. Uh, people can put their stuff up there too, and but we can get access to our food really easily. Um, I have over here my cabinet where I keep a lot of my, lot, so a good portion of my miniature training and the like, um, but I've also kind of moved my D&D uh, &D tableau up here. So I have all these kind of fun little items that I've had and stuff from previous games and uh, the player character miniature is all in a case. A little portrait of, of me and my wife did of me, uh, me as a wizard. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and then I have a, new, a lot of art around. So I have this critical roll poster, some original paintings, uh, original sketch by my friends, um, more paintings. Um, I have this really cool Becky Clinton piece. Uh, I got an original marquee from the Dungeon Dragons Tower of Doom video game, which I keep prominently displayed. It's actually where I put my uh, speaker behind, so it kind of it's kind of ominous. I'm not really sure where the sound's coming from. Um, more art over here, uh, and then my stereo that I have uh, where I play my listen to my records. But a big thing is I'm really into music. For those who don't know, and, uh, I have a lot of I have a big vinyl collection, so that's actually in here too. Um, so I can actually like, access my records and such. And there's more art up on the walls, stuff that's kind of fun. Uh, the back wall, my friends gave me this extra sword they had, so we hung it up. I'm really digging it in my colossal red dragon. But let's get to the table. So I picked up, um, my, my group actually chipped in and helped me get this table and chairs. Um, I had the purple chairs before, but the other ones I didn't. And we picked up this chair, all the stuff from Ikea. Uh, it's a nice extendable table, but it's a good length. Um, I think it's 94 inches long or something to that effect. Um, but we can use it for dining also, but for d d it's definitely going to be a blast. And I have a pair of rolling trays. Just got another one, this red one here. Um, and just have some coasters. These really cool leather uh, custom-made coasters that have uh, dice trays in them. So if you want to, like, you know, put your dice in there, you can. Um, and then the cards, if those are interested, are critical hit cards. They're divided up evenly, so the player's going to have access to them on each side. Um, this is my DM screen. Uh, I plan on doing a whole review about my uh, behind the DM screen update because I've updated it a lot. Uh, this was a gift for my wife for my birthday. It's a very cool custom screen. Got it from the UK. Uh, it's, I've used it a few times and it's been sto stoked to do it. The top of actually something we just added, which is um, when we were using these tents uh, on the last screen, it was a lot thinner, so it's pretty easy to deal with. But with this one, this is a thick screen. If you can kind of see it, it's, it's pretty thick at points. It's got a little shelf and everything. So these, these don't go the best on it, but uh, one of my players... And the other DM, uh, Jeremy and I kicked up this idea of just using dowel rods with a little um, little uh, uh, clips, and it's working pretty well. You know, I'm liking it. It'll be good for a lot of expansion. Uh, but these are my the players or the characters in my current group. Uh, I'm not sure, sure if everyone's gonna be here on Saturday, but a good portion of them will be. So, but it's a little bit easier to manage uh, with this length and then with the uh, the thinness of the dowel rod. So, and then uh, I got my area over here. You know, my uh, everything fits nicely. I got my uh, rolling tower with uh, my dice tray, all my accoutrements, my charts, uh, some NPC miniatures, um, my notebooks, the uh, my, oh, my bigger notebook, 
uh, tape measure, some props for the game, uh, my laptop over here, which I run Sirenscape through and all my keep all my notes on, um, and uh, the like. But yeah, that's about where I'm at. I'm I'm pretty excited to uh, have my players see this area in person and to play in it. I think we're gonna have a real blast on Saturday, um, and for the foreseeable future at least. So, but thank you for tuning in. Do enjoy.